wickedness of the wicked come to an end? Well, what's going to cause the wickedness of the wicked to come to an end? Thermonuclear destruction. You know, the Most High, have, have, uh, he had the so-called white man create the ICBM missiles to, to, uh, as, so that he can use it as the weapons of his indignation. Him being the Most High Heavenly Father. That's what the Most High is going to use to destroy America. That's the reason why uh, all of these other nations like Iran, Russia, and China are stocking up on ICBM missiles. Because the way that third world, the Third World War is going to be fought, is going to be fought with ICBMs. And all of the nations that have that technology is going to shoot it over here to America. You know, the scriptures say that America will be destroyed by, uh, like Sodom and Gomorrah. Get that day, uh, uh, this is Daniel chapter 5, uh, starting from verse 25. And this is the writing that was written, Mine, Mine, Tekoa Parson. This is the interpretation of the thing, Mine, Most High Power have numbered thy kingdom, and it is finished. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Verse 26. That, that's, that's the first one, Most High has numbered thy kingdom, and it is finished. That's what. That's what Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is doing right now, man. He's measuring the wickedness of this place and it's through, man. Like Yahshua always says, this place is through, man. That's right. It's, it's, it's over, man. Esau is over. You two-thirds is over. The Heavenly Father is going to judge all you people, man. Every every wicked act is, is through, man. It's, it, hey, the time the time of wickedness is coming to an end. Jake, uh, the time of righteousness is, is, is rising up, man. Righteous, righteousness is going to be increased. Through the planet Earth, it is ultimately going to be a hundred percent when Yahweh shall return, huh? Okay. And the, and those those that turn uh, the, the the people from 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 wickedness into righteousness, those elect, those men that are going out, you know, preaching the holy word of, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, those are going to be the ones that that's going to be saved, man. Verse twenty seven. It says it says that in Daniel two. It says in. Uh, Many shall be purified and, 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 and made white, you know, the ones that turn men from unrighteousness. For uh, roughly paraphrasing. Daniel 5 and 27. Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting. I'll give you a 28. Yeah. Verse 28. Paris. Thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the and Persians. And, and at this time, the king, the Esau's kingdom, and at back then it was divided and given up to the Persians, uh, the, the Medes and Persians. But now it's it this uh, like what's that? That mire and clay, man. This 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 whole system is divided. Trump talked about uh, uh leaving uh what was he talking about leaving uh it was the the UN, but it was a certain act. It was like the the, the Paris, something about the Treaty of Paris. Oh, Paris Climate Agreement. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's Climate right. Agreement. Yep, yeah. that's right. I knew it was yeah. something that had to do with Paris. Trump was talking about leaving that. He got the the Brexit. All these things is is the. Oh, hey, he, the, he he denied it. He uh he he pulled the U S out of it. Okay, so uh, yeah. so and uh, the uh, a kingdom divided itself uh, cannot stand. Mm -hmm. So this this place is no longer. Gonna gonna stand, man. It's it's ultimately gonna be broken down. Uh, I got it. So, so, uh, you you get your kind. This is uh, uh dealing with the measurement, you know, because yeah, that's how the Most High, you know, do it. Everything was set up for an appointed time. Each kingdom that that uh, had in this uh, rulership over the earth was set up for a time that the Most High had established. You know, a uh, matter of fact, there's a scripture in uh, Genesis which says that. Uh, that, the, that we would go up down into Egypt for 400 years, you know, until the until the iniquity yeah, of the Amorites is fulfilled. Once the iniquity yes. of the Amorites was fulfilled, then the Most High allowed us to get delivered up out of it. You know, so uh, the same thing applies into this time. I don't know why people think that just after uh, the Roman captivity, that that was just the end of the Bible, man. <laughs> You know, and then and, and then now people are just they, they just have the free liberty to, to to pretty much live however they want to. You know that the, the Bible is finished. You know, no, this thing is still going on because there's there's still prophecies that have to be fulfilled through the spirit. This is this is uh this is the second leg of the Roman Empire. A lot of people don't know that when you go into that, that vision of, of uh, Daniel and Daniel the second chapter of the of the miry clay, 
and the, and the iron mixed together. Probably strong and probably weak. You know, the probably strongest is, is uh, you know, uh, places like, uh, what is that, Great Britain? And, and the probably weakest places like Greek, because in this so-called white man's kingdom, you have some rich, rich uh, nations that are, that's in his kingdom that, that he's ruling over, but then you have some, some weak. You know, the Most High uh, uh, set this kingdom up. This is uh, 2 Ezra 3, 4 and 37. It says, By measure hath he measured the times, and by number hath he numbered the times, and he doth not move nor stir them until the said measures be fulfilled. So he set up uh, America to establish a certain amount of uh, iniquity in the world so that he can have an accusation to bring against him. Esau thinks that, he's doing, that he does something with his court system or, or his uh, uh, judicial system where, where they'll allow you to, um, they'll, they'll, let's say for instance you were selling drugs or, or something like that, and they'll watch you. They won't come after you right then and there. They'll, they'll allow you to keep doing it so they can pin up a case against you. Well, the Most High is doing that to the so-called white men. To the who, who is the nation of Edom according to the Bible? This is uh, Revelations 18 and 1. And there, anybody can speak on it. It says, And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with, the, with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and, and is become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. And, and Babylon, Babylon is this place, man. Uh, uh, America. Let me grab the precept. I got some. This is uh, Psalms. This is Psalms uh, 137. And beginning at verse 8, while well, I begin at verse 7, it says, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. So it says, remember the children of Edom. The children of Edom is a so-called white man. White man, woman, and child. Of verse 8, it says, O daughter of Babylon, who art thou to be destroyed? Happily shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. So it just, the Bible just clearly called the nation of Edom the virgin daughter of Babylon, or the daughter of Babylon. So that lets you know that over here in Revelation, the 18th chapter, it's not, it's not talking about Babylon representing the, uh, the, the old nation that, that ruled during the, uh, the, go, the, golden, the golden period, you know, of Nebuchadnezzar's statue. It's talking about a spiritual Babylon. Because Babylon back then wasn't destroyed by fire. But, but this Babylon is going to be destroyed by fire, man. This place is spiritually called Babylon, which, which Babylon means confusion. It goes back to the word Babal, which B Babal means confusion. You know, and what does this place push? This place push uh, ultimate confusion, man. It's, it's a confusing thing when, when you see something walking up the street which looks like a woman. Have you seen fucking Caitlyn Jenner walking up the street? But, 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 but it's, it's really a man that had himself transformed into a woman. That's an abomination. That's that's uh, that's Babylon right there. That's confusion. Verse verse three again in uh, Revelations 18. It says, "For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies." And I heard another voice from heaven saying, "Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins." And that you receive not of her plagues, which which that represents the elect being delivered from here by way of uh, by way of those chariots, you know, the ones that the angels and, and our Lord and Savior is going to come back on. Verse six, it says, we, uh, verse five, it says, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. So that right there lets you know that the Most High numbered the iniquities of this place, you know, and He set it up to the point where it reached a certain limit. And once you reach a certain limit of uh, reaching up into heaven, then the Most High is going is going to destroy this place. Got Malak. Or y'all y'all own stuff? Oh yeah, I got it. Yeah. Um, in the water. And then, then the water, man. This is Second Ezra, chapter nine and verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass." 
which I have told thee before. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will provide to Salakia will begin to visit the world which he made. He's yeah. still providing. So, hey, it said, uh, measure, measure the time. So you're supposed to measure and, and, and watch the prophecies and watch what's going on in the world, man. Watch all the all these uh, things that Trump, Donald Trump is doing, all these uh, executive orders that's being pushed out, all, all the, what Putin's doing, you're supposed to watch. Measure down the time diligently in itself. And you're going to realize the, the, the closer the more, the more stuff that happens, the, the 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 closer that you how shy is getting, man. That, that quick reason. I got a quick sign to, that that you that you're gonna look for, and you're gonna know exactly what time you're in. This is a uh, uh, Joel two and twenty. It says, "But I will remove far from you the northern army, and will drive drive him into a land barren and desolate, with his face towards the east sea, and his hinder part towards the utmost sea, and his stink shall come up." And his ill savor shall come up because he hath done great things. And that North Army is talking about the Army of North America. You know? The, 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 the uh, America's military, once it's drawn over into the Middle East to fight in World War III, then you know that that's the, that that's the end. Because according to Isaiah 9 and 5, World War III is going to be fought with fuel and fire. It's going to be fought with ICBM technology, the way that they show you in movies like uh, Terminator. You know Terminator 2 with Sarah Connor, uh, uh, the uh, the new new Terminator. I think it was Genesis. How they how they showed you those nukes hitting in the in the in the and they hit the water in San Francisco and just completely destroyed the the, the bridge, man. It was destroying uh, 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 the whole city blocks and, and everything. That's how that's how World War Three is gonna happen. So when you see America drawn over into World War Three with his face towards the Euphrates and his in his hinder parts towards the the uh the the, the hinder sea which is uh, the Nile river then, then you know that that's the end man that's one of the things that the most high has given to us to look for but we couldn't know that unless we learned it from the apostles and and also uh uh to, to if it wasn't for this book man so in order to seek seek uh the, the to be established in the prophecies can you read that part again huh. then shall thou understand that it is go go up. Okay, kind from the top. Mm -hmm. This is Second Ezra chapter nine and verse one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world." which he made. So the, the way that you measure the time is, is by using this book. You know, by, by going to look, looking uh, uh, for the prophecies of the Most High Heavenly Father and waiting for them to come, come to pass. That's the reason why the scriptures say, seek ye out of the book of the Lord. You know, and, and none shall fail, none shall warn their mate. All of the things that the Lord spoke about in this book is gonna happen, man. But it's gonna happen at a point in time, the time that it was measured to happen. In. So America is gonna go down. You just have to be patient for it, and you have to, patient. You have to patiently wait, and then you have to also watch for certain things to manifest itself in the spirit, so that you can know that okay, it's getting close to the time that this place is gonna be destroyed. Kind. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. Then shalt thou well understand. It's a, it's a earthquakes and uproars of people in the world. That's all that's happening around around the world, man. Over there in Venezuela, over there in uh, the Philippines, over there. Greece. The, you said Greece. Greece. Yep. Over there in Greece, all of this is uproars and, and uh, outrage of the people, man. The people, and, and that's the, a fulfillment of, of prophecy, man. That there's gonna be uproars, earthquakes. If you look up how many earthquakes. Happen is all is earthquakes always popping off, man. I look, I looked up. Oh, uh, I think last year it was it was more earthquakes uh, than than days last year, man. It was earthquakes popping off like crazy, and I haven't looked it up this year, but it's probably more because because it just it's it's just the closer and closer that Yahweh Shah is getting to come here, man. The more the more signs, the more hell, the more prophecy that comes out is just showing the closer and closer our Lord is. Then shalt thou well understand 
that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So these things always been spoken about, man. There's always been spoken about of time of the, of the of the end, the the, the end of the the so-called world. There's always it's always been that, man. The, the end, and really, it's just the end of this, this society, the so-called white man society. It's the end of that, and then it's the rise up of our society, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The, the end of the so-called white man society is, is, is crumbling. Kind. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Yep, so the end of this society is being manifest by all by all the things that's happening, by by who's in office. If you can't see this place is through your you're, you're a spiritual retard. Because it, Trump is the biggest the biggest joke. It's the biggest joke ever, man. It's just like your room. They had all them fucking the, the damn stupid uh them stupid uh, leaders up there in the place eventually crumble. You got The Rock talking about he gonna run for presidency in 2020. You got um, Mark Zuckerberg talking about it. You got Kanye West talking about it. That's how you know this place is just... Oh, Caitlyn Jenner? I didn't know. 